My name is Matthew Endress. I'm a 2004 graduate from Sauk Prairie High School. Uh, after high school, I went on to college at, to get my undergrad at the University of Wisconsin, Stevens Point, and then my master's and my doctorate in music at the University of Illinois. And um, while I was working on my doctorate, I was teaching part-time at a, um, a college in Decatur, Illinois, which is called Richland College. I was teaching American music history. And then uh, I applied for a position uh, that was open at the University of Wisconsin in 2017. And uh, so now I, I, I still work at the University of Wisconsin. I'm the drum set and jazz history professor there and the drumline director for the University of Wisconsin Marching Band. So although I am an educator, performing is, is equally as important. Uh, so I'm, I really think of, I'm more so a freelance musician where I, I play with several different people and, and, um, and organizations. So anything from groups in Illinois, uh, or I, I do things with different groups in, uh, based out of Colorado and, and right here in Madison and I locally, mostly just doing club dates at, at places in Madison. And then I, I do a lot of traveling around Wisconsin, playing, doing little tours with different groups. I am playing often. That's different, you know, week by week, of course. Some weeks I won't have a gig, other weeks I might have three or four, and then I do strings of different tours with different groups. So, so performing is still very, uh, uh, it's, it's paramount, but it's pretty equal with the educational part of what I do. Well, my answer is going to be the same as a lot of other people you probably interview for this. And the first person who sticks out, obviously, is Sue Halloway um, for me. Um, and that's because for all of us, all the opportunities that we were given as students within the uh, music department at, at SOC. Um, and like all of us know, who worked with Sue, she had this way of instilling passion and fire in you as a performer and, 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 and had high expectations of everybody. But Sue Halloway was absolutely the first person that inspired me and I felt was somebody who really pushed me, the first person to really push me into, into performing and, and express, uh, express myself musically. A period in uh, my life when I wasn't quite sure if I was doing the right thing was, I would say, I mean, I got, I got three degrees and two terminal degrees and I spent a lot of time in school. And I would see, you know, as you get older, when you're younger, you're like, oh, yeah, I want to play music. That's what I'm going to do. You know, you don't think about as much about adult things <laughs> like, uh, you know, having money, uh, a house, vehicles, things like that. Right. So um, I remember being uh, about midway through my doctorate degree and, and many of my friends from home were, you know, had children. They had a they had a house, you know, they had boats and you know they, they 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 were doing things that i wanted to eventually get at but i spent so many years in school you know hopping from apartment to apartment being a teaching assistant at at different universities and uh i remember feeling like i want these things i want a family and i want to provide and i want to do these things and going to school for music uh you for me, I, I was I was questioning like, is this is this going to? Of course, it's fulfilling playing music, and and I wanted that to be my my gig, but it made me think, is this going to take me to a place where I can feel like I am a successful adult? That that was that was the one period when I was like, I hope I didn't make a mistake, but at the same time, you sit and you think about it, you go, no, I mean. 
this is that fire and that passion has always been there. Uh, and there's a reason why it's always been there. And what else would I possibly do? Coming from Wisconsin, we all are familiar with the band and the band is like this. To Wisconsinites, it's like this celebrity group that everybody loves and everybody knows. And when I got the position uh, working with the band, it, um, obviously I was really excited, uh, but I didn't really know much at all about the band, like the culture of the band and the history of the band. Uh, I, the first day I showed up for rehearsal spring uh, of last year, I showed up and Corey Pompey, the director, uh, the whole band's out there on the field. And he's like, Here, here's Dr. Matthew Endress. He is, is now in charge of the drum line and he's a part of our directorial staff. And then out of nowhere, the band goes, does they do this whole thing when they meet somebody new and they go, mm, woo ha and they, they do this thing and then they say your name and i remember i was just starting to talk and i'm like hi i'm boo and then the whole band does this whole thing i'm like looking i'm like what is that and and this is something that the this is just one little thing that that the band does when they meet anybody and right away i was like oh okay these, these you know these kids are are fun and they're kooky and um but the the really the coolest thing about working with the band, obviously, is working with fantastic musicians and, 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 and students, but just the rich tradition of things. They say they're the hardest working band in the world, and I'll tell you, they are. Uh, you know, when you have two home games, two home games in a row on a week, er, in two weeks, um, you learn a new show for every home game. And when you have two of them back to back, you're learning drill which is the formation on on the field the music um and it's all memorized it needs to be memorized by game day and that is a huge challenge and and what's really amazing about this group is i'll pull up i'll come up to rehearsal to the practice field early on those days and i just pull up and rehearsal won't start till 3 45 but 75 percent of those kids are out on the field already going through their formations and this isn't a rule this is they're not told to do it these kids are so dedicated to being, to having a great product and delivering a great performance in a show that they're out there almost an hour early before every practice those weeks, just doing them things, the things by themselves, going through their formations by themselves to help memorize. And it's just amazing working with a group of kids that play music and, and, and playing music for for this organization and for people they take very seriously and um that's what makes this band uh really amazing and definitely one of the hardest working bands in the land for sure success is first of all being able to do regularly as your profession something that you love to do um and you don't need to be the best at it in the world to be a success. You don't, you don't need to be, you know, nationally renowned and recognized to have success. Uh, success to me in my field is being able to play music and perform and teach and be able to connect with people on a level, uh, uh, like when I'm performing, being able to connect and, and give something to somebody musically something that that's a that's a nonverbal way of communicating and be able to exert desire passion love through things like playing for people and on the teaching side success for me is being able to watch these students grow and turn into mature uh, mature um, musicians and create a life for themselves where music and the arts is 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 paramount and to, just to watch them change and, want, and and get to learn them as learn about them as human beings, not just musicians. Um, so success is to me is being able to reach people in many different arenas and and being able to reach them in, in very positive ways. So success that's success to me in my situation.